Superheroes. There's a lot of them, and they all just lost their jobs. I bet when you were a kid, you saw one and thought, damn, he is literally me. Well, now it's 2023, and after this steaming pile of shit came and went last year, you've decided to just be the superhero yourself this year. As it turns out, this VR headset can be used for more than just re-watching Zaddy's entire filmography inside big screen. To be fair though, that is what I bought it for. I have accumulated over 70 DC heroes and villains that you can become in VR through playing and modding games. So welcome to the Superhero VR Game Guide. Wonder Woman. Marvel and DC have gone so far in copying each other that they now both have an official licensed VR game that was taken down for licensing reasons. DC's game just happened to be the only one where you could actually play Wonder Woman too. Go figure. I guess the only way to be Wonder Woman in VR is by using a sword and shield. No lasso or gauntlets. Javelin. This one's pretty simple. Blade and Sorcery comes with a javelin by default. You've got to adopt a different kind of stance to use it properly, which is pretty fun. Oh yeah, don't forget to die. Polka Dot Man. Extra dimensional polka dot powers are a little tricky to translate to VR, so instead use Battle Talent's Light Rapier. It shoots out beams of light that function similarly to the polka dots. For these next ones, you'll need to install some mods. Katana. Take a wild guess. You'll have to mod them into Blade and Sorcery, but there's already one in Battle Talent by default. I'm obviously talking about... A gun. Dr. Fate. Dr. Fate has faced off against the embodiment of the fucking universe and won, so he's pretty OP. Scroll through the spells section of Nexus Mods or Mod.io and just download everything you see. Huntress. This awesome crossbow mod is really powerful despite its size. The bolts shoot quickly and they explode over time or with a trigger hold. You can shoot a ton out and then detonate them all at once to kill enemies or even fling yourself in the air. Brainiac. Use this modded spell to body swap with your enemy. Just add telekinesis and hand-to-hand -hand combat and you're set. Dark Side. The punch and laser eye spells for battle talent will inflate the size and strength of your fist and shoot lasers from your eyes. The latter isn't exactly the Omega Beams, but they decimate everything they touch all the same. Mr. Freeze and Captain Cold. This modded ice spell incorporates a basic progression system to unlock a range of ice-based powers, from Shuriken Blast to regular very large blasts. If you can't be bothered grinding, you can download a version with all the abilities already unlocked. Harley Quinn. The Harley Quinn weapons pack contains two comically large mallets and a revolver. For some reason, this revolver makes me feel like a psychopath when I use it, but to be fair, I crossed that line when I booted up this game. The Joker. A crowbar, a pencil, a pair of scissors, pretty much just take any normal object and the Joker has probably killed someone with it. Deadshot. Deadshot is known for being good with guns, period, so any gun mod you find will work well. Battle Talent has lots of good ones, like this pistol, this AA-12 you can rocket jump with, this M4, and this sniper rifle, which combined with a hook shot lets you snipe enemies from vantage points. Peacemaker. Mod a Desert Eagle into Blade and Sorcery. Maybe grab a sword too. The super strength is accounted for because we all know how ridiculously strong you are in the game. Green Lantern. Combine the Mystic Hands and Spectral Weapons mod for the true Green Lantern experience. The former has you control giant hands, great for massive punches and ground pounds. The latter has you form weapons, like maces, swords, daggers, axes and shields, from pure light. Finally, you can add on a flight spell too, but it'd be pretty hard to manage that with the other two. Batman and some of his surrounding characters have won their own little section simply because there's a lot to cover, and it mostly comes from a single blade and sorcery mod. To start off with the obvious, Batman Arkham VR is great for the detective side of the Batman mythos, but not so much for the beating people to near death and not calling it killing despite the permanent physical and psychological damages side. Luckily, we have Blade and Sorcery for that. Batman, Batgirl, and Batwoman. The I'm Batman mod adds everything in this section. For the Caped Crusader, you get regular shock and razor batarangs, an awesome grappling gun which I had a lot of fun with, and a taser I couldn't get to work. Just add in your hands and you're good. Nightwing. Use the Escrima Sticks, Nightwing Staff, and Grappling Hook. Red Hood. Grab your personalized grappling hook and pistol. Be edgy. Damien Wayne. Grab your sword. Be edgy. Deathstroke. Slade's swords are also included. Combine them with his staff and a gun. Bloodsport. Bloodsport's sword has two variants, fire and electricity. If you want a gun as well, add on this M16 the mod includes. The Riddler. The Riddler's cane can be used as a blunt weapon or a stabbing weapon depending on where you hold it. Try switching styles on the fly. Razar Ghoul. He's got a sword. Stab people with it. 
the superhero simulator games are next. Same as in the Marvel edition, Project Demigod and Superfly each contain multiple power sets for you to use. Tom Callor. Superfly has these black hole powers that I couldn't put a name to till now. By default, they attract everything surrounding them, but you can make them repel objects with a side grade. Static. The electricity power set gives you flight and energy projection powers in the form of a constant stream or chargeable railgun. Ice. Summon a pathway of ice before you with the ice power set, then charge up icicles for shooting at enemies or innocent bystanders. Your pick. The Atom. Use the size power set to shrink or enlarge yourself at will. For fun, try combining a large or small size with the other powers in the game. Hawkman. The Wings power set gives you... Wings? That's, that's crazy, bro. Charging the grip button will also send out a volley of feathers. Lex Luthor. Since Elon Musk is yet to drop his VR game where you play as a billionaire egomaniac, using a combination of Project Demigod's flight and blast powers will have to do. This combo is going to come up a lot, by the way. Starfire. What I just said two seconds ago. Booster Gold. Use the flight blast combo, but throw in some time manipulation powers as well. These allow you to freeze and reverse time for enemies. Bane, Killer Croc, and King Shark. You can increase your arm's size and strength with the stretch power set, with there being two different stages. Plastic Man and Elongated Man. <laughs> what a f***ing name. That same stretch power set has stretch punches and grabs for you to use. Fire. Make your hands flamethrowers and toss out massive fireballs with the fire power set. Blue Beetle. Use that same flight and blast combo, but incorporate the weapons power set to pull out guns, knives, and batons, since Blue Beetle is known for making said weapons with nanobots. Blackguard. Spawn in some pistols, then use the flight power set's super strength. Don't fly or shoot lasers, though. The Flash and Reverse Flash. Both Demigod and Superfly have speed power sets. There was something I neglected to mention about them in the Marvel edition that Rainy Toast YC summed up perfectly. In Project Demigod, you don't get affected by the slow-mo, so all the enemies will move in super slow motion with you still running fast. You can also move around wherever you want without being slowed down. In Superfly, slow motion also slows you down and you can only move where your hands are pointing. Keep this in mind when you decide which game is right for you. Superman, Supergirl, Black Adam, Bizarro, Shazam, and Power Girl. Demigod's fly powers are more than enough for these characters, giving you flight, laser eyes, and super strength. However, the following individual game also fits their characters perfectly. Mr. Mix's Pitalik. Megaton Rainfall is an older VR game, but provides a one-of-a-kind experience. You're given godlike powers and tasked with protecting Earth from alien intruders. You can also explore the universe similarly to in Space Engine from the Marvel Edition, which by itself is worth the game's price. Mr. Miracle. Any escape room game will work for escape artist Mr. Miracle, but the room VR, a dark matter, is considered the best one. Morpheus. PSVR Dreams. I mean, the guy's name is literally Dream, so it's either that or cheating on Minecraft speedruns. Gorilla Grodd. Gorilla Tag. Lobo. Swordsman VR will let you live out Lobo's legendary story of fighting and killing Santa Claus in bloody melee combat. Don't forget to execute Rudolph on your way out. Sandman. No, not that one, this one. Rumble VR came out fairly recently, and it's basically the go-to earthbending game. You have a wide range of abilities, and you can even take them to PvP arenas. John Constantine. Constantine basically has every single magic power you can think of besides sobriety. So either give him the same treatment that we gave Dr. Fate, or try out the wizard's dark times. The latter has less powers, but is more focused on magic than Blade and Sorcery is. Commissioner Gordon. LA Noir VR has you solve various murder cases by collecting evidence, interviewing witnesses, and more. There's even some action thrown in with shootouts and car chases. Green Arrow. Hollow Points will truly test your VR archery skills, but for a multiplayer bout instead, try Hybo or Gun Raiders. Cyclone. Ascending Dojo is essentially an Avatar VR game. Manipulate the elements, like wind, using interesting and involved hand movements. The Penguin. It's not out yet, but when Peaky Blinders The King's Ransom releases, you'll become a part of the Peaky Blinders gang in London's criminal underbelly. The polluted and stormy feel of 1920s London is very similar to the Penguin's kicking grounds in Gotham City. Rick Flag. Basically any game with guns will work. My pick? Onward. Play it. Then die. Captain Boomerang. I am so proud to say that there is a proper Australian VR game. It's called Beers and Boomerangs VR. You've got to defend your barbecue and beers from the roving kangaroos that come to steal them, using boomerangs of course. You know, stranger things have happened in Australia. Black Canary. Waltz of the Wizard has a spell that you can use that is very similar to the Canary Cry, and you can actually use your voice to activate it. Cyborg. Robo Recall is great for Cyborg. You play a robot that is tasked with killing other robots. And there's guns. 
That's the deal. Raven. Waltz of the Wizard and the Wizard's Dark Times will both give you all the magic spells you'll ever need. Beast Boy. Any game you find where you can play an animal works for Beast Boy. Gorilla Tag, You Are a Bird, this one called Velocibarba where you're a Velociraptor giving people trims. It's crazy. Aquaman. Like Namor from the Marvel Edition, Minecraft VR with a trident is the way to go. Add on an Aquaman skin and a custom map to up the Fishman immersion. Catwoman. Just like her copycat, Catwoman works well with Thief Simulator VR, where you break into rich people's houses and steal their shit. It continues to be morally correct. And finally, Clayface. Let's Create Pottery VR would be a horror game to Clayface, since you're making sculptures out of his calcified statued flesh. But to us, it is simply an artistic experience. I am yet to find a VR game where you're made of clay, so this is gonna have to do. And there's over 70 DC characters to become in VR. Like last time, I feel like this is a pretty comprehensive list, but if I missed a character, search for a VR game for them, then leave your findings in the comments. You'll probably find one, since I managed to find a game where you play as a fucking rock in the Marvel Edition. Listen, let me just say, I have absolutely no idea what I'm going to upload next, because I'm in my final year of high school now, and the workload is absolutely insane. I have had maybe two hours in the past two weeks to work on this video that you're watching right now, and it's, it's, it's f***ed up. So, yeah, I'm gonna try my best to upload this year, but you might not see uploads from me very frequently. But anyway, I'll uh, see you in the future. For now, I'll see you later.